in that particular period. Four shells. He's had that draw to spell since, and he puts this free kick in towards the back post. And it goes out for a corner kick on the far side. And it was a really good delivery, you'd have to say, as well. Yeah, one thing there, he only has is a, a wand of a left foot. So, the corner and kick coming in, absolutely the loving those full blooded tackles. And there's a really uh, disappointing coughing up possession there by McManus. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, Jarvis Shells can well. attack here. Jarvis, oh. he can go left, he can go right, finds Burt. Who's got support on the left-hand side, Mo Sullivan. But he goes himself, has a shot, and it goes past the post. And it wasn't a bad effort at all from Liam Burt, but you can see John O'Sullivan there having a word with the Scottish winger, and he was feeling that he might have been able to do something from the left-hand side. Yeah, good counter-attack from Shells there. Balls gave away possession up near the Shells the target. Box. I'm not sure that's the kind of way you want to be passing <laughs> to your defence, though. And uh, perhaps that's what happens when you have a central midfielder playing in the back four but Shells have snuck the ball back once again here's Jarvis he's to the end line trying to pull it back that's a really good defensive tackle by young Keane Byrne who gets a high five from his goalkeeper Jaratska and it will be the first corner kick on that far side for Shells yeah Jarvis showing again how dangerous he can be there but ball's coughing up possession a bit lightly the halfway line there great tackle by Lander towards Piszczek, he heads that one on. Headed away by Gannon. Oh, there's someone in the box, and it was actually Brian McManus. Had his shot, blocked away, it's going to be a corner kick. So, Bohemians putting shells under real pressure in the last couple of minutes before the halftime break. Signs of life. Yeah, I think that's three times there. Lander's took the long throw, and Piszczek's won the first ball, and shells didn't deal with that one. Connolly, two to Miller once again. Here's Connolly. Tries to tee up a shot here for Clark. Can't get it away quick enough. Kirk! And it's blocked away by the foot of Connor Cairns. It's some lovely football by Bohemians in the last couple of minutes, did he? Yeah, much better from both. They're stringing a few passes together. Great ball from Clark there to Kirk. He dragged the shot a bit too much, but good start from Bowes, yeah. Yeah, you can see Martin Miller has something about him there. Free kick incoming so. here with Burt and Wilson standing over it. Two men who played together here at Daly Moon Park for Bohemians. Wilson sends it in. It's a dangerous ball. And goalkeeper Michael Trasket does well again. Just uh, seems to be in the right position at the right time. Flores almost left McDonald in trouble there. That's good feet by Kirk. Daly Moon Park. Will there be a winner tonight? <laughs> Or will they have to settle for a point each? Jarvis cuts inside, does well. And that shot just bobbles up into the arms. Oh, very thankful, Michael Taraska. Again, just in the right place at the right time. First time we've seen Jarvis really open up. Yeah, good play from Jarvis. He cut in well, but didn't catch the, the shot too cleanly. Maybe disappointed with that. So scoreless at Daly Mount Park will the deadlock be broken from the spot by Will Jarvis steps up and finds the bottom corner it's a goal for Shelburne and here's the man on loan from Hull City Will Jarvis 21 years of age and he's in flying form with shells who've flown to the top of the Premier Division table in the early stage of the season that could be the goal that keeps them there tonight. 80 minutes on the clock. It's Bohemians nil. Shelburne won. Yeah, we spoke about how good Shells are there defending the lead. So, balls have 10 minutes to, to go for it now. So, Get another look at the penalty shout here. Did you see that ball going through. Yeah, I don't know about that, though, do you have to say? I think you might clip him very lightly. But once Boyd feels it, he goes down. Yeah. It's off. It's a dangerous ball in, and it's flicked into the back of the net. It's a second goal for Shelburne. It's the substitute, Shane Farrell. Now, in fact, it's Gavin Malloy wheeling away after knocking that one into the back of the net. And as we said before the match, 
Bohemians have been pretty poor defending set pieces and again tonight they failed to deal with the ball into the box flicked in by the centre half Gavin Malloy and with 85 minutes on the clock the three points are going to Tolka it's Bohemians nil Shelburne two yeah another set piece very disappointing good header from Malloy but looks like looks like game over now yeah that's it very poor stuff defensively from Bohemians it's the bread and butter stuff as well Dini you've got to get the defending yeah. set pieces right absolutely yeah it's criminal here's Ryan Court back heel to Nip pull up the field here for Sten Ryan Court intercepted by Gannon Coyle scoops it up and there we have it full time whistle has been blown and the game has finished Bohemians nil Shelburne 2 and the game was scoreless at half time Shelburne playing the better football Bohemians came out in the second half against a different Shells formation and they start to really look good from an attacking point yeah, of view but they only made up here for a company on LOI TV and we hope to, hope to catch you the next time around.